This installation is performed on a Chevy Tahoe. It is similar for Cadillac CT6 2016-2019. This is the installation video for Chevy GMC and um, Cadillac Escalade 15 and up for video in motion and digital video interface with multiple camera switching and smartphone mirroring. This particular one, um, this interface, we're going to show, first we're going to show video in motion, then we're going to show installation of digital video interface. For video in motion interface in this particular vehicle make and model, it is not possible to add extra cameras. Uh, due to safety reasons, to add extra cameras, you'll need our video switching interface. So, using uh, GGM box is not possible on this vehicle to do video switching. Installation is pretty simple. So, behind that panel, so what we need to do is remove that panel on the bottom. So, this whole entire panel with the cup holders need to be removed. Uh, it's very easy to remove this panel. There's no, there's nothing to remove it basically. So to remove this panel, it's only held in place by clips. There's nothing holding on the right side. So the only thing you need to do is on this left side over here. You got the bottom kick pan, uh, the dashboard panel right here. So this panel, this whole dashboard panel, need to be pulled up a little bit, there's no screws again, just pull it up to open a little bit. And once you pull it up, when you pull this panel up, you'll be able to basically pull it out from underneath that panel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by pulling it anywhere, grab it here, anywhere. Better to start here. Over here, using like some kind of panel tool. So, I'm gonna take one of the panel tools for this. I'm gonna use my hands, but you know, as you can see, I cannot do it with my hands. So, we're gonna use the panel tool. So, we're gonna use the panel removal tool. So, we're gonna start from here, from this edge, open the armrest to start with the panel remove. Okay, so using panel removal tool, you're gonna stick it in here and pick it up. Release the clips. You got clips all over. You got two clips here. You got two clips here. You got a lot of clips pretty much here. So we're gonna do, you know, slowly little by little, we're gonna remove all this stuff. So we're just gonna start it from that angle. The whole panel comes out. As you can see, we pull it up and now over here, just pull this panel out to remove the panel. On the bottom, there's going to be two plugs that we need to disconnect. So you're going to disconnect the plugs. Once you disconnect the plugs, I'll show you the two plugs. This is one. And you got a second one here, the big one. Okay, to remove this plug, you will need to remove the clip down. See, this, this red clip, that's to be moved this way down. This is going to release the connector. So set that apart. There's no airbag light, not to worry about that. So Now, the video in motion installation is done behind this panel. So tilt your head down and look inside, you will see the radio module there. It's right in the back here. If you see, there's nothing in the back. I can put my hand in here. But the radio module is right in the back of it. So there's two connectors you're going to need. You're going to need that main plug right here. And you're going to need that green connector. This is where you power. There's only two wires actually here. I'm going to put it to the side here so you can see it. Look 
No two wires here, power and ground. If you're able to see this, yeah, right here. There's two wires, power and ground. There's nothing else here. So this is where your constant power and ground is going to go. So you're going to grab our T-harness. You're going to plug it in. So you have one end. It goes in here. You're going to connect power and ground here. And the other end goes back into the radio. So the other end goes back into the radio. Now, I'm going to connect power and ground. Okay, so I have connected power and ground. Now we're left with this little connector here. That little connector is used to connect our main harness. But keep in mind, there is no extra camera input here. This is strictly for video in motion and navigation in motion. So you're going to plug this in here. And then this end, you're going to plug it into the module. Okay, set everything aside. Now, to activate the video in motion, very important, this car can only do it while you're parked. So, when you're driving, you can activate navigation motion, like if you want to use nav in motion. But when you park, you can only activate, the video motion can only be activated when you park. So, you're going to have to press this button reader four times. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter if it's on or off. So if it was on before, let's say you were using really fast, you can do still one, two, three, four. All right. Anyway, you will like when you're driving. You can do this button one, two, three, four, and that button is going to activate the navigation motion. So. This way you'll be able to use your net while driving basically without any issues whatsoever. Um, now, all you need to do is drive around, check everything works, and reinstall the panel in the reverse order of removal. Don't forget to reconnect two connectors. And you're done with that.